Hello, collective. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate them all. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far. Happy winter solstice. Okay. I hope you guys are enjoying this gorgeous, beautiful, fantastic day. Because it's so gorgeous outside, y'all. I swear to God. Make sure y'all get a chance to go into nature or ground yourself. It's really good for you guys at this time. Okay. I had to clean my glasses, y'all. They was foggy. All right, y'all. Let's see. What is the messages for you guys? Let's see what you need to know, what you need to be aware of. All right. Overall energy, Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, for this reading, for the collective, what do we need to know we need to be aware of at this time? Overall energy. Oh. Overall, okay. Somebody's awakened to see things your way. That's what I just heard. Okay. <laughs> Overall energy. a lot oh wow what emperor come on emperor in the reverse strength card well damn sun card so there could be an emperor in the reverse somebody that could abuse their power it could be masculine don't have to be double leo aries energy um somebody could be or taurus Somebody is overcoming someone. An emperor in a reverse here is being exposed or they were exposed about something. Something came to light that something is over. There was an ending. Something backfired. There was a tower to someone's wish. Now they wish that they could take a leap of faith in some way, shape, or form to do something. But the emperor is in a reverse. Abuse of power. And the strength card. You have the power. There, this emperor in the reverse may be seeing things your way here. That you overcame this emperor. Okay, in the reverse. Strength card. What's the strength? Oh boy. What's the strength, please? Strength card. Woo! Jackpot. Okay. Sudden wealth. Somebody feel like they made a bad decision here because now something is going to change here or they didn't make the right judgment call. Judgment is in the reverse. Somebody is not being judged for something as well. Confirmation. Something is changing in the house. So you could be having great fortune and held in high honor in the distance. Okay. We got the family room journey to the mature woman here getting unexpected income. Somebody is in despair because they're going to be in poverty in the community. A wealthy male could be getting arrested, okay, because an official person passed away. Oh, my God, for having bad health or for causing bad health to someone's union or something like that. Hmm. So you had the strength to get some sort of wealth or something like that sudden wealth something is about to happen for you that's very amazing okay let's see Evermore and Ouija. Mm. It's giving a married couple here purpose. You can be, you can be a medium, okay? Most high priestesses are. You talk to the dead, okay? Um, there could be a couple here that see you on your spiritual throne here. You got privilege and personality here. They can tell you are. Uh, you have a wonderful personality. Whoever this Evermore couple is. 
I feel like this is a passed over uh, energy here. Somebody could have passed away in some way in a house, but they like you. <laughs> if that makes sense, okay? Mm -hmm. They could have been a very spiritual couple. And maybe you moved into a house that was somebody was very spiritual. Okay? Or you're moving into a house like that. Somebody is something is changing now. You you were able to alchemize some sort of energy in a building or a house or something like that, collective. This could even be your workplace. This could even be within yourself. Okay. Child, listen. All right, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, communication. So you could be getting communication here from them, okay? Evermore in communication. Spiritual communication from, like I say, if you're a medium. They could talk to you through whatever divination, tarot, um, Ouija board, whatever. Okay. Spirit, divine spirit. What else is going on? Explore in peace. Entertainment. Spirit, divine spirit. What is the message? Hmm. Wow. Wholesome. Somebody like you. Somebody seeing you as very wholesome, good mannered, polite. Yeah. We got to survive. So something is changing now. You going to somebody is surviving because they're wholesome. Yes, yeah, survive in visitation, creativity, a spiritual throne, shine. Things of a Ouija board, hospitality, okay, arcana, perception, disconnect. So somebody is definitely changing their perception here. Somebody may be moving away from uh a thought pattern about you, collective. However, this is. Hold on one second, collective. It's kind of cold outside. Okay. So, um, yeah. So somebody is seeing you as very wholesome. That's why you survive something. You could be very good mannered. You could be very um hospitable, okay, to uh the dead. You're not abusive. Like some other people like, like to abuse the dead. It's so crazy. I was getting like um a download the other day like it's so weird like how people view spirituality some people just do stuff and they're not realizing like it could be offensive to their past over loved ones of what they're doing you know like um just because that was your grandmama kind of energy who it don't give you the right to just go take her dirt you know what i'm saying from her graveyard like or it don't give you the right to like do certain stuff like, just because that was your kin? Like, did you ask her properly? Like, did you, like, people just like to do things in a very abusive way because it's like, oh, well, you know, that was because that they, they that was my grandma. That was my dad. That was my so-and-so. And they are tired of that shit, okay? Whoever you guys are, you're very, you're very respectful to the dead and to the living, okay? And that's why they, they, they bang with you. That's why they protect you. That's why, um, they like you. Okay, like seriously. And there was a, oh, a masculine energy. It could have been her husband energy for somebody. It was an older gentleman here that was a very overpowering, dominating energy. And you could have set somebody free of that energy for some of y'all. Okay, and they couldn't overpower you though. You're stronger than that emperor in the reverse. And somebody is seeing that. Okay, and this is this isn't a passed over person. This is like somebody that is in your 3D. You're stronger than that person. And people are starting to see that. Okay, let's see. What else is going on here? So somebody is seeing you as very wholesome, good mannered, loving, nurturing. With all that wheat around you, it's a lot of abundance around you. Okay, wealth. All right, what else? Confirmation. Yeah. A wholesome leader. 
Ain't that something? Somebody that doesn't abuse their power. Okay? Wholesome and leadership. That's why you're in this leadership position because you're loving, nurturing, and kind and optimistic. Okay? You're very much so optimistic. Yeah. Obsession. Obsession. I was about to say obsession. Something came to somebody's attention here. That somebody wanted something to be perfect here. Their objective here. We got limelight and vanity. Communication. So somebody thought like they could do something to maybe get people to see you in a different light collective. But somebody is seeing you as, you know, this could be somebody that was acting is what I'm hearing. Wholesome leadership. What's this? What else? Wholesome in leadership. That's why they chose you. And if this is like somebody in y'all family lineage or something, somebody want to know why somebody, why were you chosen over them? It's because you're wholesome. You're a good person. And you passed all your tests here. Yeah. I mean, you got to do nothing. Hmm. Acts of love. Do nothing. Wholesome leadership and do nothing. Do nothing. Kindred. A kindred spirit here. Try. Remember here and now. There was some sort of competition because of her prophecy, drama. Somebody wanted to fulfill a prophecy by causing some sort of drama in your love life. All right, but you could have went in another direction here. And it's a privilege, the fact that you just being you and you forgive and forget people here, teacher. A teacher is learning something from you as is. They had expectations that somebody's ancestors would stay optimistic or they had expectations about your ancestors or their ancestors. Take it as it resonates. Where your ancestors knew they were they knew you would help them or something like that. And kindred always, it also could be like, it don't got to be a blood relative. This could be like friends or associates or something like that. There's somebody in y'all energy here that could have caused some sort of drama to your love life. And they said, do nothing because somebody see you as a wholesome leader and you ain't do nothing to this person, but they could have did something to you behind the scenes. Okay. Trying to fulfill a prophecy or something like that to cause drama for your love life. And we got attention, the perfect witch. Optimistic. So something is coming to somebody's attention. Maybe a witch energy. Arcana drive driver purpose. We got change. So something is changing now when it comes to a haunting. Yeah, and that's karmic justice for you. So somebody tried to do something here. So we got to do nothing because something is coming to someone's attention that you're perfect. Not saying like you're perfect, but you're the right fit for something. We got a witch and haunted. Okay, so there could be like a witch. Like I said, if you uh, somebody that owned your home before. Okay, could have been a witch. <laughs> Okay, or something like that and they feel like you're a perfect fit for this home or this energy okay so it's like they're not haunting you it's like a working with you kind of energy they fuck with you something like that you don't have to do nothing because something that's came to some sort of at somebody's attention that you have perfected your craft which i'm giving as as in craft as well with perfection and which got a lot to do with your craft yeah with the academics right behind it yeah so somebody a driver's purpose was to be absent like leave a wise guy out in the cold because they feel like they was being a service to their addictions to somebody because they're addicted to you because you're innocent and the way you love yourself so somebody is like, so whatever is going on or whatever was happening in the background, something is being cleared up now. All right. Why somebody was so addicted to your energy or why somebody had, it, it came to their attention who or why, what you are. You're a wholesome leader. 
um, you don't have to do nothing. Okay. Like you didn't have to do anything extra. That's what I'm getting with that do nothing energy. Cause it already came to somebody's attention that you have, uh, you're very well versed. Okay. In every way, shape or form. And whoever the male figure was, they can't judge you. It's like they can't cause judgment, call judgment over your life, or they can't call like 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 you did something wrong or something like that because you didn't. It's like they don't put you through the test. It unbeknownst to you, and you are you have passed with flying colors or something like that. All right. Let's see what else we got going on. Let's see, my collective. What else we got going on? Yeah, wow. We got rejoice in the presence, joy. Like, I'm telling you, it's it's like this, it's autumn, well, winter solstice here, okay, with these dried up leaves, okay? It's like joy, it's happiness. It's like finally a divine feminine, somebody that is able to, you know, and we got ghost and regret, joy. So there it could, like I said, somebody could have been ha being haunted by something now. I don't know. But this ghost is happy, whatever, and uh, uh, they're, they're happy. Because they know that you're a responsible high priestess. So it's not like you're a bad high priestess. So somebody thought was trying to play, maybe play like you were or something. Yeah, we got ancestor remembrance here. Joy. So your ancestors are happy that you remember them. This could even be your ancestors that passed over. Could be a lady or a male. Could be three ancestors that may have passed over. They are so happy that you remembered them, okay? Because now something is going to transform for them. It's giving like somebody that was stuck in the middle path or something like that. Things are about to transform, okay? In their life. Well, in their afterlife, I should say. Yeah, they are so happy that you are responsible and you are like, oh my gosh. They're like, yes, okay? They are so happy. Like, they are excited right now. Right? Let's see. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit. What else? Divine Feminine. Let me get you. Hello, Divine Feminine. I knew you was coming out here, girl. And we got Zombie. So, we got Divine Feminine here has control in the wintertime. <laughs> That's funny as hell. Okay. Yeah, acceptance and equality. It's like it is what it is. Winter solstice. So they working with you, Divine Feminine. I don't know who was working with them before or trying to control them. All right. But we got Divine Feminine. You have some sort of control here in the winter when it comes to something. Somebody has to accept that. And yeah, that you are helping heal the dead. I know that's right. You're helping heal something. I know that's the right divine feminine but there was somebody that could have passed over that's in regret because in the springtime they didn't know that ah somebody did something in the underworld uh -huh. so somebody could have been working against you okay in whatever way this is collective but they're happy Divine Feminine is coming through for them in the wintertime. What else? Okay, we got foundation, intensification, and cleansing. So they're, they have intensified something on your foundation. Summertime. Fortune meets opportunity. In the spring and summer. So something is happening here on your foundation, Divine Feminine. Intensification, cleansing. All right. This is like some up and of some sort of energy shift. All right. Throughout now into the summertime. I know that's right. Something is, 
like I'm hearing at your service or something. Divine Feminine Homeland. Intensification. You intensify something here. And then with this rainbow, it's like that cleansing energy, your spirit guides, whatever, or your foundation here. Some sort of cleansing on your foundation has upped or something like that. I don't know. Wherever you at in the world, wherever you go, it's like some sort of energy that is following you for, for like the better. Okay. It's like a, a continuous cycle with that broomstick, you know, that with the broom, it sweeps away negative energy, brings in good luck. Okay. Um, there's something like that happening for you. I'm hearing that song by Erica Badu, Touch a Four Leaf Clover. Maybe that's significant to someone. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so from the winter to the summer, Divine Feminine. Um, there's some very intense energy that is clearing some energy away or something. If somebody threw some negative energy on your foundation, it's like to make your foundation ten toes down. Unshakable is what I'm hearing. Somebody could be, uh, well, it is Celtic energy right now, especially with this winter solstice. Okay. I mean, Divine Feminine, you're all of that, right? But you have some sort of extra help. Okay. From the dead is what I'm hearing. Like, I just got to get a message. All right, you definitely are t tapped into your mediumship. You are definitely hearing your messages from your ancestors. All right. And ancestors does not have to be just your blood relative. The kindred spirits as well. Okay, those that were it, that maybe knew your family or um, they didn't even have to know your family. Just uh, people that passed over that just fuck with you. It's a thing. I mean, you know how that go. I'm sure y'all do. Yeah. Somebody exploring their wild side. Something is changing now. Nah, they said the veil of the future. Future meets opportunity for you in the underworld. You're good. Coming to the underworld? Yeah, it's infinite possibilities now. You can get whatever you like at this point. <laughs> they are having a ball in the underworld, okay? That's like that, um, that afterlife full of happiness, joy, and abundance is what's happening. That's what I'm getting with the infinite possibilities of the joy and abundance here. By midnight, baby, you gonna know what's up. Somebody gonna know what's up for whatever they did to you. If they did some crazy stuff to y'all, they gonna regret it. But you guys, though, you guys are gonna be rewarded by midnight. I don't know. Something is happening tonight for Divine Feminine, whoever you are. You got the apple here, and then it's like a heart. <laughs> I love it. You are being your authentic self here. Everlasting love. Love is love is love. And it transcends physical death. Absolutely. You still love your past. Oh, hell yeah. You still love them. All right. And they are like so happy. I don't know. Or maybe people uh, forget them. Remember something that happened around ball team when it came to your passion igniting here? Ah, we got a familiar here, healer, and a masculine here that could have did a spell. But your ancestors seen this person and tried to hex or curse you in your blind spot. But don't worry. They about to, yeah. They gonna have to put some respect on your name. <laughs> so there's some sort of union that's coming towards somebody. I love this for you, divine feminines, masculines, whoever this is resonating for. But this is like, yeah. I like this. Whoever this was that was exploring a wild side has been mummified. Something is about to change. They can't they can't do this. Whatever they was doing 
to you anymore. And this is even if this was like family members that was doing stuff to you. They're not working with these people. They're not messing with these people. They're not... They don't have any... Uh, any more reserves in the underworld. That's what I'm hearing. There's no... They don't want nothing to do with them. I don't know. Somebody that passed away don't want somebody yet. Yeah, access denied. They don't fuck with them at all. Whether this is they, it don't matter if they was in a blood family or not. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. And if these people was just using your passed over loved ones to try to attack you or do some fuck shit to you. Like just dark energy. It's like they had not taken account that they need help to clear out this damn karma when it comes to y'all family name and everything else. And y'all up here just wanting to hurt each other. And they are so disappointed, especially a father and a grandmother. I don't know, because they came to me um, the other night. And somebody's father is like, if he passed away, I don't know who this is. They are so, so disappointed in them. And their grandmother their father has linked up with their grandmother and their grandmother is so disappointed. She like, I cannot believe that y'all would do this. Like, I didn't teach y'all this. I didn't say that that was okay. Like, y'all are just, what the fuck are you doing? And she's, she's blaming her daughter. She's blaming her daughter for being weak or something like that. Because that's what she was saying. Um, her daughter, it's her daughter fault. That's how she feels. Okay. You don't even come to visit her anymore is what she said to. Like you don't come visit her grave anymore or in, unless it's for some bullshit, like kind of energy or it's never like nothing nice. Okay. Like somebody, her, it's like, uh, it, maybe the daughter lost her husband. Okay. And her husband is linked up with her mother kind of energy. And she like, we didn't, what is this? Like, what are you doing? It's like, maybe she went, she sees her daughter going down the wrong path, you know, maybe due to the heartbreak of a death or something like that. And she wants her to get her shit together. And it's like, you they're attacking you you could be in the family collective and it's just sad it's just sad and then you got the and then their father the her kids the whoever they he is so disappointed in his daughters man his daughter he is so disappointed like he can't believe that she would choose that type of path that goes against all their code everything like they just out here wilding and it's like they are so hurt to see them and like building this karma. Like, and then you're not even helping them. Like y'all just y'all do y'all not know like what, what you need to do? It's like that kind of energy. Okay. Yeah. Somebody was cremated. Something about ashes is also what I'm hearing. I don't know. But somebody is just sad. And they just like, they're feeling some type of way. And whoever you are, you're actually helping the family lineage pay off their karmic debt, this and that. And they trying to take you down or hurt you or something. They are, it's just, it's just sad. It's just sad. Okay. And whoever that is, that could have been your, uh, if that's their her mother or something that could be your auntie or something like that that's what i was feeling they was giving auntie vibes okay um yeah and she proud of you she's happy that you actually have taken a high road okay in this situation and not did no dumb dark shit you know, something about a ouija board they have a ouija board whoever this daughter is has a ouija board in her home you know, it's like she just used all of the practices for just nastiness. Okay. She's proud of her grandson is what I had heard too. All right. But it's like, it's something about how the family unit is now. 
it's so messed up. It's not, y'all don't even come to, like, it's not even like a coming to each other house. Maybe y'all had back in the day, it was like one of those, like, oh, everybody go to this cousin house or I'm going to my cousin house because X, Y, and Z and they're all the kids be playing and all. It was like something like that that was going on. It ain't nothing like that no more. Everybody's so shysty in this unit and it's nasty. They are like, I can't believe it. And then you're wondering why so-and-so is reaping all the benefits of because they're wholesome. They're a good leader. They're, a, they're not trying to, they ain't do nothing horrible to you. And y'all trying to hurt this person? Like, that's what y'all do? That's all y'all do is negative shit? And then it's just like a whole family secret of sacrificing each other? Like, it's just nasty. And they building so much karma for their own little pickings, okay? To come. So it's like, what are you doing? And it's like, uh, yeah. I got so many messages for this in particular family. And I know these are people in my family that I got messages for. And they are so disappointed in them. It don't make no damn sense how, like, it's just like, <laughs> talk about turning over in your grave. I said that the other day. Like, they are like, and what you think they don't see what you're doing? Like, don't you know how the spiritual realm work? Like, <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? Kind of energy. And it's just like, shh. Shit, just don't tell them nothing. Because see, right now, it's like you they're going to have to accept the fact that they chose you for a reason. They knew that you wasn't heartless like them. And this may make them cry because they these are people that actually go to, you know, and they want to live a certain lifestyle. But they feel as though that they got to hurt people to get that. And they don't. If you would just heal and do the work, you'll be fine. This is what somebody is needing to understand. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, they was missing a major piece to the puzzle. They wasn't. We got the death card. This is definitely something about the ending. They're definitely not going to be able to talk to whoever these passed over loved ones is. They don't want nothing to do with them. At all. So don't even ask them for shit because it ain't happening. Like, I don't care. Like, it's like you ain't do nothing for me. That's how they feel. What have you done for me besides ask me for shit? Like, and that's how she's saying it. <laughs> don't nobody got no altar set up. Y'all acting like one thing, but y'all not even honoring your own shit. Like, it's weird. It's so weird. It's like everybody there all do witchcraft, but ain't nobody saying that. Everybody all some, you know, I don't, you know, I don't do nothing like that. Than talking shit about somebody else that is actually in the forefront of doing what they supposed to do. Then then behind the scenes, you trying to tear that person down. Like, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody don't got to do, like, negative energy or do dark magic. You ain't got to do that shit to get what you need. Like, come on. Like, this is crazy. And... This this goddess, this grandmother, this auntie, this whoever this is, is about to clear away all type of negative energy that these people has been um, sending to you because of money problems or what they want or what they don't want you to have. Like, and they, she feel as though that this should have been talked about before she passed away. Or something like that. Somebody could have passed away a, a while ago, a long time ago. She feel as though that that meeting, they did have a meeting, okay? Back in the day or something, somebody was talking about something, but they didn't really, they forgot the conversation that she had with the, her daughters. She got daughters or something like that. Something about her daughters. Like she told her daughters, okay? And it's okay to be yourself. Okay, and whoever you are, they like, well, damn, how come your life keep upgrading? You about to get an upgrade, uh, Divine Feminine. Whoever this is that's in this leadership position. You're the only one that use the gifts for your highest good. Everybody else is greedy as hell, okay? Especially around Halloween. You could have did something wonderful them for them and got an upgrade or something like that. 
maybe they wanted to upgrade and they tried to do something to you around Halloween. Yeah. Let's see what's going on here. Mm -hmm. This is crazy. What's going on here? Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit. But this is somebody that is stubborn and stuck in their ways. That shit is about to come to an end. Whoever this is that's stubborn and stuck in their ways, that's coming to an end. Yeah, they was missing a major piece that something is over. Death card. Something is coming to a complete end. Somebody being stubborn and stuck in their ways, that's coming to an end soon because something is done, done, done. You can clear your minds, collective. Something is done completely. And they not fucking playing with them. Like that. Like, it's like, damn, like, but you my mama, you my so-and-so. They don't, she don't give a fuck. Cause you out here acting crazy. <laughs> she like, uh-uh. No. Okay. It's a no-go. This is crazy. Something is coming com to a complete end. Something is over, over, over. All right. Yep. I told you. Didn't I say they starting to see something from y'all way? Hell yeah. They about to see something from your way when it comes to the dead, when it comes to y'all ancestors here. And they sick of these people. They sick of them being childish and shit. What are you doing? Trying to leave somebody behind here. Trying to blackmail somebody. So that they can be seen as crazy. Like somebody. And the whole time they knew something was your life purposes. But yet start trying to cause a lot of blockages and obstacles to you. Somebody taking a moment to reflect here. It's whoever performed this evil eye on you. They couldn't do it. So you could laugh a bit. Okay. Things is changing in their life. Their, your life. Everybody. Okay, behind the scenes, some people could be losing their jobs, losing homes, losing shit for trying to catfish somebody to cause imbalances for you. It's like, it's so bad. Like, you even getting friends to try to go up against so-and-so or you got your, you, you, it's so much, y'all. And this is enough. It's like, that's what's, that's what's crazy. So you in the spiritual realm playing with these, the spiritual games, right? What you think like will happen? You don't you don't think that you're being watched or you're being like shit is that being documented? Okay, <laughs> like it's a thing. You have perfected your craft, even though these people did all of this to you, divine feminine. They did so much, and you still came out on top. So what does that say about them? And you did everything in the up and up. You didn't do any. You ain't hurt nobody to get to where you had to go. You ain't do none of that. All you did was heal. All you did was forgive. Okay? Like, this is crazy. This is crazy, crazy, crazy. And somebody is just like, what are you... I'm, it's just a disappointment at this point. Because she just... Somebody, uh, grandma or mother figure and father figure, they just can't believe these people. They just can't. And this could even be like great grandmothers and their actual if they're actual i don't know if some you know somebody mother passed away a while ago or a father passed away a while ago um it's just so much it's like they just disappointed in how their family unit is playing out that's just how it is and they're going to be protecting whoever this is that is trying to attack them so don't you ask I, I, somebody is just, don't you ask them for nothing kind of energy because you had an opportunity to help me before so-and-so had an awakening or before so-and-so got on their path, but you didn't. All you did was do things selfishly for yourself when it's a family thing. It's a family unit. Okay? Kind of energy. Something like that. But maybe somebody don't see you as family collective. I'm not even going like maybe they don't see y'all as family. I don't know if y'all didn't grow up with these people or what, but it is what it is. Maybe they thought that they can push you out the family. That's weird. Maybe their whole objective ever since you was a child was to sacrifice you when you got a certain age so that their family could have X, Y, and Z. You know what I'm saying? Like the sacrificial lamb ass energy, the black sheep. Like that was you. And then here you go popping out. They like, oh shit, the black sheep wasn't supposed to. It's like black sheep almost being sacrificed. And then you wake up, okay, on your foundation because... Um, somebody could have wanted to be in the entertainment business or something like that. All right. 
it's like somebody family is full of stars or something like that. But each star had to find their own way in the up and up instead of trying to hurt each other to get to where they needed to go to. Okay. And pushing people out just so that they don't have feel bad for trying to hurt them when it's time for them to get whatever they need to get. It's like something like that is going on. And she is so ashamed that her son, something about her son, he knew better than that. Like it's so, this mother figure, she has sons and daughters. I don't know how many sons and daughters that she got here. Hold on. All right. She said she had three sons and two daughters. So she could have five kids, this one in particular, auntie or mother figure or whoever this is, grandmother. All right. And she's just so ashamed at where her lineage came, how they coming and what they teaching their children. And it's just, it's sad. It's just sad. And she just can't believe it. <laughs> That's the energy she is. She can't believe it. That that would, they would do that. Okay, somebody got a shortcut. Could have been a lady here, African American lady. For some of y'all, but it's come to their attention that you didn't have to do nothing extra to perfect your craft. And these people are doing weird stuff. I don't know. Take these messages as it resonates, show. Yeah, it could be a Queen of Cups, Cancer Pisces, or a Scorpio energy here. That was trying to cause a stalemate here to them moving forward. That's fucked up. Because this hermit is a ghost energy. Right? They try to cause a delay for them to move a, move to more calmer waters. They try to keep somebody stuck in the middle path. That's fucked up. And here go the temperance angels here to balance them out so that they can move forward. That's some selfish ass shit. You hear me? Use a if you don't if you think. <laughs> You selfish lady. Whoever that is, you're selfish as fuck. To try to keep an entity or a spirit or a mother figure or whoever this is stuck to do your bidding. They're fucking weird. And that's why something isn't working because they're not fucking with you because how could you? That's the energy. How could you? And this could have been like the matriarch, like a, the pillar, like the uh, the matriarch in the family. You know what I'm saying? Like the one with that harnessed all the, the energy or the gifts or something. I don't know. Maybe they was the oldest. Like, you know how you got the eldest uh, family member, your aunties or your uh, out of there? Family, because five cards came out. Five is significant. All right. I don't know. Yeah, five definitely, because five came out here. Something about five, y'all. Five, five, five could be significant here. All right, let me see. What's this? Yeah, they feel some type of way. I'm telling you, moon in the damn ten of swords. There's a painful ending to something. All right. Yeah, a higher fan. Because this could be like somebody that do uh, stuff under the moon, a higher fan that do things under the moon or them hiding, like I said, what their practices are, what their beliefs is. It's like somebody trying to patronize or not patronize like be mean to you guys and they doing witchcraft they doing dark magic you understand what i'm saying and you read tarot but they want to talk shit about you like you're the fucked up individual or you're something wrong with you or something like that but the whole time behind the scenes they doing things in secret they doing something on a darker level to um uh, their religion something about their religion okay they could be very 
religious people. Okay. Something about religion, man. In the moon. Like worshiping under things under the moon or worshiping the dark or something like that. Like somebody. Yeah. And that's why they're going to be stuck in purgatory or they're going to be all in their head. Somebody could already be all in their head because of their religion or whatever they get into. I mean, I don't know. Or because of some sort of tradition they've been trying to uphold here. They all in their head because of a secret high priestess. They could be feeling stuck here intuitively. They stuck or they're all in their head about something. Come through spirit. What is this? Somebody named Jesse. I just heard Jesse. All right. We got the Magician and the Queen of Swords, Hermit. Okay, so somebody was trying to do magic on the Queen of Swords in secret, or you are a master manifester here. Yeah, somebody was trying to do something so you can be left out in the cold. That shit is backfiring. They're going to have a tower moment. You're about to get sudden wealth. Yep. Wow. Because there is a father figure, a ghost of a uh, man here. They could have got a, somebody received or gave somebody an offering to betray somebody. This could be a mother and a father energy. <sighs> somebody wanted you to be left out in the cold here, Queen of Swords. Because you spoke some sort of truth. And maybe, maybe truth about what an emperor did, something that's coming to light, hermit, soul searching, going within about a, a emperor, proposing an offer to betray an empress or to cause an empress a, bad, a painful ending so that they can move to more common waters. But something is too challenging. They're being blocked from that. Something has got to be the rest here. All right. In whatever way that is. So somebody could have just see what I'm saying? That's selfish as fuck. Like you. Wow. Okay. Wow. We got the magician. Alright, it's coming in. Like somebody didn't want you to have love. Somebody didn't want you to have something, a relationship or something in your life. Magician in the moon. Child. Five of swords. Somebody wanted to win at all costs. Whoever this is, this magician that was doing moon magic, they wanted to win at all costs. There was a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn here that's wishing that this King of Pentacles here would have got exposed. And they did. Nine of swords. Now somebody stressed where he having anxiety about a death. Oh, about some sort of ending to somebody moving forward on this plan to cause imbalances to your Ten of Pentacles. All right. Or it caused imbalances for a family lineage, your family, to make a get an offer here or get good news in a situation. So whatever moon magic somebody did do on somebody, it's being somebody is being exposed for what they did, even in the underworld. Okay, how it all started, energy. <laughs> uh, what's the obstacle here? Damn, five of cups. Somebody really regret doing this. Five of cups to the three of cups. It just, where the hell? The obstacle here is what? Because the card flipped over though, y'all. I think it. Now, the obstacle is that you didn't give up. Nine of Wands. That they didn't give up. Somebody didn't want to give up. Yeah. And that's why whatever your investments is growing. Eight of eight, eight of Pentacles. Like you mastered yourself. Okay. It's long-term investment here. 
for you, you're reaping what you sow. That's why you're getting this, because you didn't give up. Like I said, whatever they did, they didn't even try to, child, you had to go through a lot to get here, okay? That's why they're giving you this, Ace of Pentacles. And for you to have a brand new cycle here in this, in, with a relationship here or something, somebody could be confused as hell about what's going to happen to them in the future because they already heard that you're going to have a brand new passion to begin with somebody. All right, somebody want to pay somebody. A king of wands got to pay somebody to cause you a conflict to reconcile with someone or bring balance to something here. They wanted you to get locked up, but you're being protected here because of the path that you chose. And now somebody is going to be defeated. Five of Swords to this Queen of um, Pentacles energy. This married couple or whatever, they're both exposed and they're scared. Okay? Yeah. These are people that's going to be struggling. You could be, you're, you might visually see these people struggling or something like that. They're going to be heavily burdened. What is this? What's the outcome? What's the outcome, please? situation the king of pentacles here the devil could be a taurus strong taurus capricorn that's going to be mad as hell that you get in this contract that had this ten of pentacles you're responsible whoever you are you're very responsible all right and they feel some type of way they are pissed because they wanted to challenge you for this but this person worshiped the devil or something they have regret now for taking this type of action here with a friend. They thought they was going to get victory and success until they found out you received something. Or until somebody found out that they paid somebody to cause conflict for you. It's not a missed opportunity then. So it's like, it's like something is like, well, if, 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 okay. Somebody might stutter. <laughs> but if somebody actually did the work to get to the point that they got to on their own, then it's by law, by justice by something rules the prophecy then they get it it's no if ands buts about the, about it or something okay and it's so crazy because i feel like for some of y'all something can have to do with family money for some of y'all or a, a house a state a land or something that somebody was trying to keep something to to themselves here, but somebody is finding out that you had you were more responsible than somebody. They would have had to be in the up and up to get this ten of pentacles. They can't get the ten of pentacles and they they doing bad stuff. Okay, that cycle is over now. This whole family or a group of people they know it's over now. Something is over, and they gonna have to accept the fact that you are the matriarch now, or you're the one. Okay. Like you're the chosen one kind of energy. Hmm. And also with that underworld, I'm getting seraphim energy. Okay. Something about seraphim angels. Okay. You know, the devil led several seraphims to the underworld. Okay. So, you know, they, they, it's several of them that went with the devil. Um, to disobey the divine kind of energy okay there's also some sort of hidden energy here of why something was so they didn't want the prophecy to be fulfilled okay because if the prophecy fulfilled then that means that god will exalt the chosen ones over certain seraphims and they didn't want that to happen okay that's another download i had got that got something to do with the prophecy here. Okay. But all of the people that. Um, so it's like. This is a big, 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 big thing. Okay. <laughs> and the chosen ones was on the chopping block here. Because they, you know, you're going to be looked at as God's favorite. Jealousy is set in with certain angels. As the, as the chosen ones being uh more exalted than them if that makes sense i hope that do do your research if you need to but confirmation <laughs> listen hear me out so all the whole time people were saying like oh 
you know, it was the devil this and the devil did that. They always, why? They always go to, oh, the devil did this and the devil did that. Because, right? Because he always is, is being looked at as doing fuck shit, right? But nobody ever thought about like, hey, you know, what about the other angels that was with him that got the boot? You know what I'm saying? And a lot of these divine feminines, masculines, y'all like Nephilim energy kind of energy. That's the energy that y'all carrying. Okay. And that's why it's hard to take you out. Okay. They can't kill a Nephilim. You know what I mean? So with no type of spells or any of that, they know that now. Maybe they didn't know that before, but they know it now. Okay. It's something about the prophecy. It's something about, uh... How did they say it to me? Something about revelate. I know revelations. I had a lot to do with this. Um, and the prophecy being fulfilled. Because there was, there is. Uh, I'm not going to go that far. But it's just a prophecy that is being fulfilled right now. And somebody is like, they can't believe that y'all got this far. The divine beings. Okay. Which is, it's like, oh my gosh. Okay. And it's like, why wouldn't the devil have, like, why would the devil try to stop the prophecy? That's another thing that somebody needs to understand. Or why would he try to stop it when it's like, it's a win-win for him. He getting all the whole lot of fucked up corrupt souls <laughs> that he could torture for eternity. You understand what I'm saying? Why would he be the one trying to stop the prophecy? When all he getting is what he wanted. Which is all of the corrupt souls. And what would, what would he benefit off attacking the divine beings? Because the divine beings is here to fulfill the prophecy. If that makes any sense. So I, that's another thing that I had got. Another download that I had got. And the whole reason to take out the divine beings is so that we don't fulfill the prophecy and that the seraphims can still stay next to, stand next, be God's favorite, basically. <laughs> and not, not the chosen ones. So who got beef with us? It's the seraphims. It's not the demons. Okay. I mean, it might be some of them, but not, not all of them. They not worry about it. They, they, you know, they get a smorgasbord, smorgasbord of fuck people. <laughs> like they are okay with that. Uh, but for they would have to move over. Okay, these is like the right hands of God, and that's like ultimate betrayal. Like, so it's a lot of shit going on here, and that's wrapping up with this year right here. Something is just wrapping up. Yep. And so that's where a lot of divine beings, if y'all was feeling like who somebody been watching y'all, stalking y'all, da, da, da. of course, they, they employed a couple of your family members. They was the ones telling the people, oh, yeah, I'm going to give you this. I'm going to do that for you. I'm going to have you have this and this and that. Blase bloop. It was them. It wasn't the demons. OK, it wasn't. Just so y'all know, put it in your, in your, you know, you can all my divine beings, y'all can. Uh... Yeah, but there you go. Okay, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, this cycle is over though. All right, we got the higher fent in the world. Okay, things order is going to be restored all over the world now. Okay, for this situation, there was a lot of magic going on. It was okay. It was all right, but they can't touch you. So that's why. Yeah. It was so many people involved. Like, you was like, it's like all of a sudden, this is for all the divine beings. If y'all felt like as soon as y'all got on y'all path, it was just like instant attacks. People started turning on you. People started doing this. People started, it was them. It wasn't the demons. It was them. Okay. Just so you know. Yep. The higher fent wanted to win at all costs. Why would that? And that's where the problems came from. Not people that were devil worshipers. <laughs> the problems came from the higher fence. Okay. That's why the men's, the, uh, that's why those, um, 
those key words I was saying throughout the year, like the Knights Templars, the um, they was all connected to seraphim. So who? It's a thing. That's why the other time I think in a video I had uh, posted, I was talking about Gabriel, and he offered people money, bags of money, big bags. Okay, oh, don't worry. They're going to get their ass handed to them, too. Don't you worry. But they betrayed the divine. It's a lot going on. Okay, collective. I could go on and on, but that was a message that I was told to give the high priestesses and all of the divine beings. Those are that are the 144,000 because we will be replacing the seraphim that, that is standing next to God. Is their right hand. We would be the right hand. We are the right hand because they feel as though that God loves the humans more than them. Jealousy. Who like it's dumb. It's it's not like you know God got enough love for all of us, but it's just like why would He choose y'all over us when we've been here? Confirmation all this time. Okay. So, of course, they had your family, your friends, and this and that, and trying to stop the love from coming to this world and all of this. Out of jealousy. Yeah, go figure. Yeah, I mean, I got to be honest, though. I got to tell you the truth. <laughs> I got to be honest. And God is so disappointed. So mother and father, moon and sun, they're disappointed, man. <laughs> That's another whole, they like, oh my God. I can't believe that y'all really, they've been exposed. So back to this underworld energy and all this, this, all this. It's like they've been exposed. Who's been doing what? Because first of all, there's not one human on this realm, including all family members that could ever attack or come for a divine feminine or a divine being, Period. Okay, and they didn't want blood on their hands, so they, of course, they try to trick your family members and your closest friends and your children, and just tearing up shit, having people turn on each other, and all this cool shit. Like it's a, it's a lot. It was big. So and it's sad that they kept blaming the fucking blaming Lucifer, and that's not cool. You know, he's already getting his ass, you know, he already like, listen, man, I did my, this is like somebody being falsely accused energy. He like, damn, I did my 2000 years in the whole like energy. I came out like, I, I ain't want no smoke. You know what I'm saying? And then as soon as I come out here, y'all go talking about some, I'm doing this and I'm doing that. Fall out, fall guy. That's who he is. The fall guy, like everything fall on him. And he then turned over a damn new leaf. He ain't about that shit. He only want what's he, what is for him kind of energy at this time. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about it. He only want what's for him at this time. He don't want nothing extra. Okay. So his beef ain't with you. His beef ain't with the divine beings because he already learned that lesson. That's a karmic lesson that he had to learn. And now he out. The seraphim felt like, all right, well, shit, we could just say it was him again. Shit, you know, God, go, you know, they ain't going to believe that it'd be him because he did that shit the last time when he had all. And it's crazy because they all up there with him. Like, wow. Like, so y'all up in my face lying to me? <laughs> disappointed. <laughs> I'm talking about disappointed. Okay. Disappointed. Mm. Well, there it is, though. But that was the download I got. But I felt kind of, I was afraid to share that with y'all. But guys, like, go ahead, tell them. Because, you know, we already didn't talk about it. And that also goes with the contracts of how did how did they, that's where the contracts came in at of, um, this is so beautiful. I love this because it's like wrapping up 2023, okay? Because we are moving into a whole brand new phase. But it's like, um, that's where the contracts came from, um, where like all of a sudden, you know, we got dark, like the divine beings, oh, they sound dark contracts. Oh, they worshiping the devil. They're doing this. Like, but no, because this is the contract. This is the original contract. That was them. They are the only ones that can do shit like that. The seraphims are on, the only ones that can do shit like that. 
They just didn't want the, the prophecy to be fulfilled because they felt like they were going to be left out. Now, for sure, you're going to be left out. Absolutely, for sure. You're going to purgatory. Absolutely. Now, okay, for the shit that you had done all over the world, just because you hate, you didn't want the humans to, you know, evolve. The prophecy still won't have to be fulfilled. Okay. Anyway, sorry, y'all. So that contract energy, y'all, what I was saying, y'all, that y'all names were signed on. It was two contracts. Eh, no, that contract is all out. Judgment in the reverse. <sighs> you ain't do shit, but master your craft here. You did what you had to do. And they got receipts. Mm. So I can't make it up. So you're about to get this. Ace of Pentacles. And they like, hmm. They wanted you to miss this. That's why all this magic was being done. Let's get the magician. What's the magician? You manifested the Ace of Pentacles and somebody's like, hmm, they're mad. You got that last pinnacle. You was already at the nine. You at the 10 now. What's this magician? Fool card. Yep. So ever since this, you took a leap of faith in the past, somebody knew something when you was a child. It had a lot to do with the world being judged. Okay? Judgment. It says the world and judgment for this. This is karmic justice for you, boo. Somebody wanted you to be left out in the cold here from being able to move forward here. But an angel is about to balance out all of the illusions. Archangel Michael, 99.99. Okay? It's trying to keep the order. What's the fool? So somebody manifested taking this leap of faith. Yep. This is all. This is a big deal. Temperance. You have whatever you did. You had to man master a lot. You mastered this full energy. And now things are being balanced out. And all of the illusions is over. And these seraphims is getting kicked out of heaven. Kind of energy. Yeah. This guy, like, I can't believe this shit. I mean, you know. He wanted to get to the to the bottom of it. And that's the damn truth, King of Swords. That's the truth of the matter. That something was just a big freaking illusion here. Yep. Yeah, I see what I tell y'all. It could have been seven of them. Damn. Really? All seven? Wow. They all going to purgatory. And they were like, hello. Yep, hello. He knew who was causing conflict. So the devil here with the hermit, they knew who was causing conflict. Because somebody already sent you at this uh, nine of pentacles and they knew this emperor was that they was about to make this proposal here so that you could have the ten of pentacles. And they was like, oh, hell no. What can I do hmm, to block this two of swords? They start thinking like, wait, no, the emperor is giving a divine energy right now. It's not giving a masculine here on this realm. It's like God was about to give you something and somebody was trying to stop God from giving it to you. You deserve it, though. With the moon energy, this is something that's happening at night. This is mother moon energy watching over you. OK, what's the moon? Isis energy. OK. What's the moon? <clears throat> Six of Wands. Yeah, you're going to get victory and success here to move away. Somebody is pissed off about that. That was coming to about was coming towards you. Yeah, we got the moon because at night, see, you can whatever you do. It don't matter what you're doing because she's still shining at night. And she's seen that you went, you were on your path here. And you they heard the message. This is good news. Whatever this is, man. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. This is a brand new passion to begin in here. You're getting this Ace of Pentacles. And somebody wanted you to miss this opportunity. There was a Queen of Pentacles that was trying to block your love life. Ace of Cups. Okay? And a relationship. So it's like, don't worry. That's coming back together in the near future. So everybody that was involved, honey, you they about to see you had an Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and an Ace of Cups. Okay? Because these people... Like I said, from your ancestors having that conversation earlier, from your ancestors being disappointed in their in their kin, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's sad that another person, a kindred spirit, had to give you give the good report for them and not their family. 
that's another thing. Like, you mother, you know? It's like, wow. Wow. Okay? Like, damn. Like, do you know if you if if, if you would have been, if y'all would have been the up and up, we could have got such and such and such, but now we going to be on, a, da, 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 like, we can't even sit with them, you know, when it's time for X, Y, and Z. However, this is resonating, y'all, but you're about to have victory and success here. If something is about to happen overnight. Six of Wands here. You're being put on a pedestal here. The full moon can be significant. What's the Six of Wands? The Six of Wands here. Yep. We got, yeah, so start planning something. Nine of Cups. Wish granted. All right. So you're going to get victory and success here with a plan here. Wishes is granted here for you. Star card. Yep. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Somebody all in their head. Okay. Eight of swords. Stuck. Somebody was wishing that you were stuck. But there's a whole group of people about to have a tower to watch you move forward. And where you going is beautiful. Things are balanced out. You're ready to take this leap of faith. To so manifest whatever this is. Things are finally balanced out here. Okay. Wow. I said things are about nine of wands. They are so happy you didn't give up. Judgment is being called now for you not to be in this stuck position somebody had. You in. If there was some stuck energy here, you being stuck in this family unit is over. It's like, like I said, they not going to be able to sit with you. You being attached to these people, okay? This is this is like a this is crazy. I don't I don't know, man. But judgment is being called all over the world because y'all didn't give up. Y'all fought hard. Warrior energy, nine of wands. That's why judgment is being called all over the world, and there is going to be several people being going to purgatory for even planning, working with them, bartering martyring themselves to these seraphims everything okay what's the world oh high priestess yep somebody know you about to receive something six of pentacles all over the world high priestesses are about to receive something somebody know you're about to receive something and who's getting cut out this hierophant they're going through karma and that's faded for them to because what they did they did a lot of lying sneaky shit all right trying to sabotage you queen of swords from getting information or hearing something but because somebody was confident that you know you would speak some sort of clarity though you would tell yeah okay and this is what's causing them a heavy burden to everything that they invested in somebody is afraid that you know shit ain't gonna go nowhere somebody not never gonna get no better uh, somebody gonna pass away or something like that. Also, there's a Queen of Pentacles that is mad because their delay is over. Something the delay they tried to have somebody stuck under, or whatever this is. King of Pentacles, who that? Ten of Cups. So there's a King of Pentacles so happy that there was finally it's it's like <laughs> joy, peace, happiness. Okay. This could be uh, masculine energy. Don't have to be. Somebody is so happy that everything is backfiring on these people now. What's this? Yep. Because you about to get, they get to be with you. Or somebody get to partner up with you. Four of wands to the two of cups. Somebody finally get to be with you. Yep. And had this brand new passionate beginning here. Whoever paid this king of king of wands some money or something if they missed the opportunity to apologize to you in the future they're going to be experiencing a lot of karma for trying to hold you back from something what's this four of wands so somebody is you about to be in a happy relationship here or happy with somebody happy marriage what is this four of wands man we got the Knight of Wands. So something could be happening very quickly. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Something is ready to happen very quickly. It could be a King of Wands coming in here with a message. 
that you did make a practical decision and walk away and gain your strength, overcome some sort of betrayal. Something is coming to light here that you're, you're the sun. Divine energy is shining the sun on you. Nine of, nine of Pentacles. Beautiful. And this is Emperor. Whoever this Emperor is, they're in purgatory for what they did to you in the past. Somebody told them to make sure that you was being left out in the cold and they would get control over something or they would be able to block you from having something. But somebody's realizing that was a lie. All right. Yep. Somebody feel defeated because something is happening for you very quickly. Knight of Wands energy. What is this? I'm slid over here. The hell? Yeah, Queen of Wands. King and Queen of Wands is here. Whoever that is, that could be you guys or this is people that is watching you. They feel defeated now because they know that something is over. Or all of the, everything is out now. It's like, who was doing this? Or why would the devil, why would they be worshiping? Like, no, they finding out. It was actually seraphim angels. <laughs> I can't make it up. They like, damn it. We like, oh, it was these people. It was that person. It was the one armed man. No, every person that we did mention throughout this time, it was, they did pay these people to do certain shit. But they didn't have no power. They was getting their power from them. They know you know. Oh, shit. Somebody want to pull up on you. <laughs> they like, oh, shit. They figured it out. It was it was the one armed man. But you about to receive something here. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's why they couldn't invoke fear. No more. They can't invoke fear no more. That's that. Remember I was saying like how like y'all was feeling like y'all was being watched, followed, and all that cool shit. They can't do that no more. They are being set down. All of them. That's sad. Yep. People starting to realize they didn't mean what they said. A karmic male. They was just selfish about you and they couldn't help it. Your life wasn't easy on purpose because you're a king or a queen. You were destined for greatness. You. Yeah, we know. Okay. <laughs> New love is here. Woo. And we got X, first, last, middle, initial. Somebody wants your new number on Thursday. What's your new number? Hugs and kisses. Somebody is stalking you on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. Sunday. Hey. An air sign is in love with you. Ooh. You're about to get a pay raise. Okay. And somebody, that's your karma. Okay. So karma is for somebody to get a pay raise. Okay. Tourists might need to go to the doctors. They have an STD. Yes, they lied to you. They can't have power over you. So they could have lied to somebody and say, oh yeah, you can't have power over them. <laughs> no. We got Taurus. Somebody got an STD. Yes, they lied to you. My games is backfiring when it comes to them having positive changes coming. F, first, last, middle, initial, yours or theirs. A Leo. Wow. Yeah. High Priestess. Somebody is not single. So it's like everybody that was involved, like you're going down with the seraphim, which is crazy. So that's why somebody's mother, passed over mother, passed over husband, passed over somebody is so disappointed that they would choose that path. Okay. They're so disappointed, but they about to find out why they should have just stayed in the up and up. This is like a, a curse beyond curses. Are you betraying God? Like you trying to stop the prophecy, bro? Oh no! <laughs> like why would y'all think y'all would get away with that? Make it make sense. You can't stop the prophecy. Nobody can. E F G and H. They all in their head and they feelings. Q a karmic male, a Leo. You know this person. Oh, Cancer. They all in their head and their feelings. Everybody that worked together with these people. They wasn't honest with these people at all. Somebody with a white car. R, first, last, middle, initial, yours or theirs.
We got emperor with big dick energy. Pay attention to y'all dreams, of course. True love. We got G. They can't get over you at all. Narcissists. They know you're protected from all evil now. Or why you were so protected. Why none of their magic work. Why stuff got backfired. Oh, man. And it's sad because, yeah, people are scared of y'all in real life because y'all protected like this. It's sad that these religious people gathered and it's <sighs> gathered y'all friends and family members up, lying, spit fire in their head and manipulating them and all this cool shit to come up against y'all. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's just so much that they, they, they did, man. Maybe three years ago, somebody was afraid of you. Okay. Or somebody been scared of your ass three years since three years ago. A father figure. Okay. A Capricorn could be significant. And a Sagittarius. Somebody could have whoever this father figure is could have been a Capricorn or a Sagittarius. That's disappointed in them. Somebody named Greg G. They come out a lot. Somebody, so I don't know if this person passed away for some of y'all. This is like, I can't believe like y'all would do this. Like, this is like, I know you want to, like somebody, whoever these, whatever these seraphims was, uh, whatever the seraphims was um, offering these humans, okay, that they hate, by the way, um, <laughs> by the way, right, they were offering the money and stability and all types of shit that they could have had got if they just did what they needed to do and connected to God the way they were supposed to. The right way. Not attack a damn earth angel. Never attack a Nephilim. What the fuck are you doing? Like it's like what are we what are we doing? What are, what are, what are you doing? And somebody wanted you to feel vacant like you didn't have a soul, but you do. Your soul is is worth more than any human soul here. But somebody was trying to make you feel like you were lessened. That's why you were the black sheep. That's why you were all of this. That's why most Nephilim spend a lot of time alone. Okay? And it ain't because we're soulless. That's dumb. But that's what they that's what they told them. We're wholesome. We're loving, nurturing. And it's like, although, you know, God has exalted a lot of the 144,000 to be, he chose us for a certain reason. It wasn't because like, and that's another thing. History repeats itself. Like with the, it's weird to me how people just like to try to cut certain things out of history. Like, you act like they never was here before or it would never come back around. Like, it's just weird how these traditional beliefs and old texts and stuff like that. It's like they completely forgot about what God said. And at the end of the day, he's his word is bond. Fuck whatever somebody trying to offer you. And then maybe they thought like, because, you know, these is angels, you know, like they work with God. So how could we not, like, why would they lie? <laughs> That's the energy somebody probably was on. Like, why would they lie? They angels. They got to be the bad ones. And we're not. We were actually the good ones. Y'all was listening to the, the bullshit ass angels. IJK and L could be significant. They want to be with you so bad. Stalker alert. They know they messed up bad. A karmic woman, Leo, could be involved. Somebody mother was involved that hired a, pract a practitioner, Q-R-S-N-T. The karmics is no longer in the way of y'all true love, okay? It was a suicide mission, okay? They've been caught, everybody. You just had to wait for it. Everybody involved has is getting their ass handed to them. I promise you. I promise you, y'all. This is not that. This will never be that bunch of narcissists well and if that's all you want who you working for exactly if you that was all you was looking for was money god was like oh all right 
He had already put a sacred circle of light around you, okay, to protect you from all negative energy. You was always safe, collective. You was always safe. Yeah, this weekend could be significant here. All blockages are removed. Beautiful, beautiful energy. I asked my friend to watch you and he fell in love with you. All evil eyes are going blind. What else? Scorpio Capricorn, a year ago, you made a bad choice to follow that in particular entity. Okay? Five years ago, six years ago, they made a bad choice because they could have got offered something. What else? T, first, last, middle, initial, yours, or theirs, S. All right. Uh, yeah, somebody feel bad for what they did. At first, they didn't feel bad. They didn't care. But you was the one they about to lose you for good. U I Z. So somebody about to lose y'all for good. Like I said, they not even gonna be able to sit with y'all. They are no longer a part of y'all lineage. Okay, this is bigger than a, a divorce kind of energy. Like yeah, if y'all didn't, oh we not family. Best believe we're not family now, for sure now. Okay, even in the ethers, even in God's eyes, y'all got y'all own karma to deal with. Bunch of damn narcissists. Okay, bunch of damn narcissists. The feds is watching, bro. AKA, these could be God's angels watching or an actual police. Somebody got some problems. Somebody might go to jail here for the shit that they did. Okay? Yeah, you did the right. You made the right choice opening your heart to new love here, collective. Uh, somebody could have dreads or braids. You or them. All right? Take it as it resonates. I hope this helped.